today we've been wrestling with a really difficult question, will God heal me? And I'd like to add a few thoughts to that. You know, this question stems from our real pain and our hope and our desire for wholeness. And to understand the answer, we must delve into the nature of God, His promises and His will for our lives, because it's about Him, not always about us. So first we need to recognize that God is, He is compassionate and loving. Psalm 103 verses two and three remind us, praise the Lord my soul, who forgives all our sins and heals all of our diseases. When you even look at the life of Jesus, his miracles, healing the sick, giving sight to the blind and raising the dead, they all illustrated God's immense love and desire to restore us. Yet the way he heals can vary. Sometimes it is immediate and miraculous and we praise him for that. But other times it is gradual and even occasionally it's ways we don't expect. The apostle Paul, one of the great heroes of faith, even experienced this with his thorn in the flesh. And we learn from him that sometimes God's purpose is fulfilled by giving us the strength to endure our afflictions rather than relieving us from the affliction. See, healing isn't limited to physical ailments. God cares about our entire being, our body, our mind, and our spirit. Psalm 34 verse 18 comforts us with these words, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. What I am learning is that in suffering, God often brings profound emotional healing and even spiritual growth. And so faith and trust are really crucial. James 5 verses 14 and 15 instructs us to pray, believing in God's power to heal us while submitting to his perfect will. Remember, God's timing and methods are beyond our understanding. As Isaiah 58 reminds us, sometimes his plan includes our suffering. I know that's hard to accept, but it's true in order to fill a, fulfill a greater purpose. And so in this, Romans 8 reminds us that in all things, God actually is working for our good if we love him. So whether through a direct healing or the strength to endure or even the support of others, God is at work in your life. So the question, will God heal you? Well, the answer really is rooted in God's infinite love and God's perfect wisdom. He may heal you physically, emotionally, or spiritually. He can and he will today, but he also may provide you strength to endure your trial and use that as a journey to impact not only you, but others around you. What is certain is that God is always with you. What is certain is that he's always working things together for your good. So let us approach God with faith, trusting in his timing and resting in his promises. Remember, it is God who is our healer. He is our refuge and he is our strength. His love for you today is unwavering. And that is a stepping stone to being who God has created you to be.